today we are going to learn about the IT information technology infrastructure library and the information technology service management. Um, ITIL um, is a framework that defines the best practices around implementing ITMS successfully. IDSMS, Information Technology Service Management. ITSMS refers to the creation, manage, and delivery of IT services to customers. It calls the purposes as well as the technology to realize maximum efficiency and value. Um, if you are familiar with ITIL, uh, Information Service Infrastructure Library, um, was created in 1989 in United Kingdom, mainly to, um, for service management. Later it evolved to service design, service transition, and service operation as well. Uh, let's look at the left-hand side. This is ITIL. ITIL strategies, uh, this is a present-day discovery session in Salesforce. And then you go to design. You can see there's an arrow here. For design, you go to service transition. Transition, we push to the uh, production. Um, and then IT uh, service operation, operation and management. Again, um, you go to service design, and this is, is pretty much like analog analogous to uh, uh, Agile and TOGAF, if you're familiar with that. So it's a cycle going on. Uh, once it is um, in the production, you apply new uh, features. So you go to service design and go back. So, so this uh, wheel rotates from service design to service transition and service operation. Uh, at the outer layer, you have a continual service improvement. That means you improve the services continuously. This is a information technology service management. We have service catalog, service test, incident management, problem management, change management, project management, assess management, policy and procedure management. This is ITMS, and then you can see service strategy, reports and dashboards and service improvements, and then each wheel and goes from, it moves. Uh, service strategy, you can create reports and dashboard and service improvement. Uh, and then you, incident management, when you have an uh, issue, you create an uh, incident if uh, user has a problem and they, example, if they call customer support or send email, then it triggers an incident, which is a record. From the incident, it may be a problem or you, you need to um, uh, fix something, it may be enhancement, change management, and it goes to project management and go to assist management. You have to update a pro policy and procedure management, and then service catalog up updates and service desk. Again, you go here. So this is ITIL at in, in nutshell, you know. So uh, let's go to the Next slide. The standard Salesforce case object is one of the core Salesforce objects available for both Sales Cloud and Service Cloud. It allows an organization to capture and manage cases relating to customer and it's supported by a wealth of related features. When used as part of Salesforce Service Cloud implementation. However, as any Salesforce professional tasked with implementing an ITIL compliant solution will know, the term case is too ambiguous and the case object too broad for the customization necessary to meet requirement. So we are going to uh, talk about the Salesforce. Let's uh, go with the foundation. Many of the framework exists. It can be used as a basis for ITMS, such as COVID-5, ETOM, ISO, IEC, 20,000 MOS, uh, MOF, Microsoft Operations Framework, etc. However, ITIL is the most widely adapted. There's a lot more for ITSM ideal. The above is intentionally a simpler, simplified explanation. Many articles on ITMS and ITIL are 
already available online that cover both in great depth. Uh, let's uh, talk about the service request. What is service request? Service request from a user for information or advice or standard change. For example, reset your password, provide standard ID services for new user, uh, serve the usual handle service request. An ideal standard change is a change that doesn't require authorization, such as a password reset or change or email address for a user as opposed to normal change or emergency change where authorization is required. These are ideal terminologies, so, so service request and then we come to incident. Any event which is not part of the standard operation of service and which causes a, or may cause interruption or reduction in the quality of service. That's the incident. Problem, we are an unknown underlying cause for one or more incident. This might be resolved in a short term by independent workaround. Change, in addition to modification or removal approach, supported or base, baseline hardware, network, software application and environment system, desktop bill and associated documentation. So this is the incident management. It have, uh, this is from the screenshot last year. We'll go on to the winter 23 Salesforce demo. It's a Salesforce when you type the incident and you, you go to incident management, it is turn it on. What does the incident management feature include? The incident management feature include the following objects. Case related issue, incident problem, incident, relationship problem, change requests, re related issue and change requests. The ERD shows how these objects related to each other. So this is in the Salesforce. In the IT world, uh, if you know service now, service now is 100% IT compliant, but Salesforce is not. Salesforce is solely moving. This is from the winter 23. They have the case objects and then they have a case related issue junction objects and then they have incidents and problem objects, they are standard objects and then they have problem incident relationship and change request related issue and then change request. So these are junction objects. These are ERD um, for the, from winter 23 onwards. So um, Salesforce has uh, service cloud and sales cloud they both uh, in conjunction try to be IT compliant slowly but it is not that not yet there as service now it's getting there but uh, very slowly um, so let's go to the Salesforce here so uh, if you go to um, setup uh, and quick find box type incident, you, you get the ser under service, it is under service cloud. Um, service, customer service incident management is here. You can um, turn on customer service in incident management. Uh, or oh, I, I turn it on, it was, Turn it on, but turn it off, I turn it on again. When urgent incident affects a significant number of the customers, they come and let customer service incident management help quickly track, diagnose and relate an incidents. Turn on customer service management to get started. So you can, uh, so um, I try to click learn more, that's, uh, uh, in work. So this is learn about customer service incident management within Salesforce. You have go to trail, you can, you can go to trailheads, watch video and uh, hear customer service incident management trails, what customer service incident management is, this is a video what's new here. You go down here, this is a, these are the incident settings. Sales Cloud, Slack app, customer service management dashboard, go to Apex Change. So you can get it those things from that. Apex Change, Mules of Composer Templates of Beta right at the very top. 
catalyst for risk management here to uh, go to app action these are the broadcast settings broadcast communication settings set up broadcast emails let users send email to to the contact list view to case related incident you can easily disable i turn it on set up broadcast site banner let users add banner to experience cloud um, so got an error this this is a uh, uh, trail ahead site so add banner to site so so let's uh, uh, go to the object here let me I'm going to duplicate this uh, screen go to objects here let's say case here so this is the case objects where you create cases this is the case related issue um, we saw in the ERD uh, this is here right here case case related issue here uh, So so we are back in ERD. I had to fix uh, it uh, to make it larger. This is a case a case related issue, an incident and problem. So we uh, this is a case related. Um, issue is a junk uh, so these are the fields case and it has a lookup to case master detail um, this acts like a junction object between incident and the problem here so we have also custom objects uh, like uh, these are these came uh, lately a part of IT, you can see problem object, problem related item, related problem, and incidents here. The standard objects you can explore here. They are IT related um, standard objects. Uh, let's go back to the ERD. You have a change request as well. Let's go to change request to have a peek at change request. This is change, uh, there is a change request table, change request related issue, change request related item. Uh, here, this is a change request related issue. There are one more here, change request related item. Uh, they, it was created uh, later, so let's go to change request. Create a, these are the standard of fields here can customize these are the page there's one uh, 